The law recognizes that certain confidential relationships are important, and it protects statements made within those relationships, a parishioner confessing to a priest, a client confiding in a lawyer, or a patient revealing embarrassing personal information to a doctor. All may count on their confidential information remaining confidential. But, as with most legal principles, confidentiality isn't absolute. The California Supreme Court considered the relationship between doctor-patient confidentiality and tort law's duty requirement in Tarasoff v. Regents of the University of California. Tatiana Tarasoff attended the University of California with a man named Prozenjit Padar. They met in September 1967 and began dating. But by New Year's Eve, it became clear that Padar was far more serious about their relationship than Tatiana was. Tatiana told him she was dating other men and wasn't going to become intimate or exclusive with Padar. Padar didn't take the rejection well. He became severely depressed and eventually began therapy sessions with Dr. Lawrence Moore, a university hospital psychologist. In August 1969, Padar told Dr. Moore that he was going to kill Tatiana. Dr. Moore determined that Padar should be involuntarily committed to a mental hospital. He asked university police to take Padar into custody. However, when the officers picked him up, they decided that he appeared rational. Padar promised the officers he'd stay away from Tatiana, and they released him. Thereafter, Dr. Moore's supervisor, Dr. Harvey Powelson, directed him to cease trying to confine Padar. In October, Padar went to Tatiana's home. There, he stabbed her to death. Tatiana's parents sued the university, claiming that Dr. Moore owed Tatiana or her parents a duty to warn them that Padar was a danger. The Alameda County Superior Court dismissed the Tarasoff's complaint. The California Court of Appeal affirmed, and the Tarasoff's appealed to the California Supreme Court. 